In this video, we're going to look at parametric design modeling. So to begin with, we're going to select box under geometry in create. I'm just going to draw that here. I'm going to change the parameters to 50 length, 50 width. We're going to change the height to 2.5. Keep in mind what metrics you're using. I was going to change the length segs to 100 width to 100 and height to 5. You can't see these lines on your box. You just make sure that edged faces are on and they should come up there. Now, once we've done this, you can also change the color of our box if you like. So if we have the box selected, name and color, you just click this box here, change it to whatever color you like. Once you're happy with that, I'm going to go to the modifier tab, make sure your box is selected, I'm going to type Edit poly. Now under edit poly, we have options for selection. We're going to click the polygon option here. We are then going to go into the front view, just click out bottom right, and then select your viewport and go back to bottom right and toggle that viewport in. And with Polygon selected, we're going to select just the, the inside of the box. And so go back and see in the perspective, the top and bottom is left and then the middle is selected. I'm going to delete our selection. So now we're left just with the top and the bottom. To know that, we can go back into perspective, deselect the polygon. Then going to select the element option. I'm going to click the top of that box and I'll highlight that to red. Just so done that under the modify list. I'm going to type ripples. And it has the parameters in this tab. Under ripple, you can play with this as you like. I'm going to put my wavelength to five. You can play with your amplitude, and as you can see, it will start forming. Play around with this and change it as you as you please. And once you're happy with that. Under modify list again, we're going to add another edit poly. We're also going to add slice on top of that. Once you have slice, I'm just going to click on the slice tab again, make sure it's not completely highlighted. And what we're going to do is click rotate, which is the top of the toolbar. We're going to select select this one. The Y. I'm going to set that at the bottom. You can change that to ninety. Grab the X, sit that. Let's 
sorry. Once you have that 29 degree angle, I'm just gonna copy that spice and paste it back again. You grab the other one, and you can rotate it the other direction. This is the direction we're gonna have that. So you should have is one spine running in that way and the other one running the other way. Now under one of the slices, just click, scroll down and click remove negative and that'll get rid of the negative part of that. We can remove positive, it would be the opposite. And under the other slice, you can do the same, remove positive, remove negative. Now, if you have the slice selected, you can also drag, click move and drag, and it'll change how much is selected. So we have almost a quarter left of our shape. Once you're happy with your selection, you click out of that as well. So what you should have left is this. So once we have this, we're going to select our box again, go back to our modifier and add another edit poly. And then what we're going to do is go down to selection and click border. Now make sure you have both the top and the bottom of your box selected. You can select control and both of them. I'm going to scroll down to the bridge under edit borders. Just tick that on and you can see you have a complete shape. Once you have this, we're going to go back up and we're going to click edge. Once you have edge clicked, you can select one of our lines on the side and scroll further down, select the ring option. Once you have all of your lines selected under ring, scroll down further and click the connect side button here, the settings. And we're just going to change the segments to two. I'm going to put this one up to 100 and tick OK. We're then going to go back to the modify list and type turbo smooth. That smooths out our box. So now also to edge facing bar. You can see the smooth command. What well, that's created. Once we have this, we're also going to tick isoline display. We can put our iterations up. We put that to three. You can see that better in each faces. You can see the other iterations. Put that at three. Tick edge faces back up. I'm going to go into hierarchy, which is the tab next to the modifier. I'm going to tick effect pivot only on, and we're going to tick alignment center to object, then tick effect pivot only off. After this, we're going to go back to our viewports and we're going to go into our left viewport. Just going to select our box and we'll rotate this. Ninety. Once you have your 
box, right? We are then going to go back to create and under shapes, there's a section tab. I'm just going to click that. I'm going to draw that from the center of our box. I'm just going to make sure we get a tight section around our box. After this, we're going to go into our front. We're going to move this over so it's just at the edge of our shape, the very corner. Get it closer to the closest to the edge. As possible, I might drag it over this side, it might be a bit easier. Now, once you have it along the edge of your box, we're going to go to tools at the top and then array. This will give you the option to array this section along the rest of the box. So you can pick your X width, you want to change that. To 0.76 again only meters. I'm going to change the count to 50. Give you a preview. I've gone the other way, so I'm going to do negative. And as you can see now, it's gone back the other way and covers our box. You want it only to cover our box and not go any further. So this is too many. I'm just going to make this smaller than 0.5. As you can see now, it's a bit closer. I'm going to drop it back down again to full seven. We want to make sure we can get it as close to the edge as possible. I'm happy with that you now. It's like right at the edge of our shape. Once you have that, just going to tick OK. Now we have 50 counts of our section. And with our first section selected under the modifier, there's a section parameters and we can click Create Shape and click OK. And this will now change all of our sections into the shape. Go through all of your sections and click the same. You know, we will turn into the shape.
So because we had 50 counts of our array on, we should now have 50 shapes. So if we go back into our perspective, Now turn our box hidden, and this will now just be our shapes and our sections. I'm going to select all the sections as well in our scene explorer and hide those as well. So now we only have our shapes. I'm just going to rotate this around as well. As you can see, we have our shapes. Once we have this, you can select all of them and under the modifier list and type extrude. As you can see now, it is now given our shapes some depth. We can change the parameters here and change the thickness. So if they're at five, you can see they're much thicker. I'm going to leave this at 0 0.5. We now have 50 shapes that have molded to our original box with the nipple. You can change the colors if you like as well. Select them all and click the, the colored box at the top. Click OK. Here we go.